Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Destiny. I bought these matching French Provincial nightstands at an estate sale for $20 and they're pretty beat up. A dog chewed on the corner, there's a missing knob, and someone really enjoyed doing their nail polish on this one. They're also just really covered in dust and dirt. So let's get to work. You best believe I'm keeping these scissors, but everything else is going to go into the trash. I was really hoping to find some money in this junk, but that didn't happen. Leave a comment down below if you have ever found money in any kind of furniture that you've bought off someone else. I like to remove my hardware before I clean just because dust likes to settle underneath the handles and I don't want to have to clean it again. I broke this so we'll have to figure that out later. dish soap and warm water. Um, it's just what I have on hand. While the wood filler dries, I'm going to start sanding this nightstand. Um, I'm using an 80 grit sandpaper to really knock down all that fingernail polish. And when I'm done with the 80 grit, I will move to 120 and then 220. having a really hard time um, getting off the nail polish on this curve so I'm taking my carbine scraper and I'm just going to scrape it off by hand.
making a paint wash with Dixie Belle's color called Putty and it's just a 50-50 ratio with paint and water. I know this color is not for everyone, but when I saw it, it made me so happy. It's called Horizon Glow, and here are the numbers.
while my paint dries, I'm going to take this molding putty that I've used several other times on this channel. It's a two-part epoxy that you mix equal parts together and it cures in about 25 minutes. I'm missing one of the little knobs on the nightstand so I figured I could make a mold and try to cast it to see if I can duplicate um, the pull. I decided to use Bondo because I figured it would hold up better over time compared to wood filler. And I'm just going to mix in the curing um, liquid and I'm going to put it into the mold. It'll need just a little bit of sanding, um, but I think it turned out pretty good otherwise. I thought I hit it record, but I guess not. Um, I used this JB Weld. It's a two-part epoxy you mix together, and this is what I used to fix the uh, broken metal. So I didn't love how light um, the first paint wash was, so I took my pink paint and I made a uh, paint wash with that. And I put on like three layers, and then I start noticing um, the spots that I used the barkeeper's friends were popping through again. So that's another problem I'm going to have to deal with. And this is just a side-by-side -side with the new paint wash. So those spots were coming through again, so I decided instead of painting the top that I was going to try to spray some clear coat over it just to seal it in and then continue to uh, put another coat of paint wash.
And now I'm just putting the hardware back on, and you know what that means. The end is near. Here is one last look of the before. They were in pretty bad shape and covered in gel nail polish with big chunks of the corner missing. And here is the after. I absolutely love the way these turned out. They are so beautiful. I mean, look at them. You can't tell me that they're not pretty. I love them so much. I hope I've earned your subscription and I hope that you really love this video. Don't forget to like and leave a comment because it helps small channels like mine grow. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!